Hey everyone! Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video on how to color manga eyes with Copic markers. Um, there's three different ways that I'm going to show you. So, this is when the pupil is black. This one, the pupil has a color in it, and this has this one has would have no pupil, but it would have a gradient. But um, so the eyes are kind of weird. Um, I drew them in like 30 seconds. So we'll start with the pupil is black one first. So the colors I'm going to be using um are a hundred B39, BG15, BG09, BG23, and B29. Alright, so, obviously you need a black if you want a black people, so I'm just going to take this black and um, fill in these areas. And this is a way where the black isn't actually like round and then you color here. No, that's not the type of way I'm going to show you. That's the that's a different type of way that you could use yourself. Because whenever I draw this, I kind of think it looks kind of creepy, so I don't like doing that. I fill in all this area. And then start flicking down when it kind of goes to halfway of the pupil. So halfway from here, I start flicking down. Leaving a lot of room because we're going to use it, be using a lot of color. Uh -huh. Alright, now I'm going to take my B39, which is the next darkest shade. And you can see it really blends with the black very nicely. And I know this has nothing to do with eyes, but... If you want a dark, dark green, you could use the black and the B39 to make that black, um, that green color. I used that for a lot of my drawings. Okay, now I'm going to take B29. And keep going. Now, I've never blended B's and BG's ever before, so I'm going to try this, and then, if you guys don't like it, you guys could use your own colors. Now, I'm using BG09. And I'm going to try to blend these colors all together. Well, not really, because I have more colors. Now I'm going to take BG15, which is the next, next, okay, now lastly I'm going to take my BG23, which is my lightest color, start with the B B39, come down to B29, then go to the BG09, and then go with, to the B15, and go like this, like in those circular motions. Try to blend them all together. I don't think it looks that bad. I'll show you what it looks like up close. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, I'm gonna quickly take my white deleter ink. You could use Copic Opaque White, whatever kind of white ink you have. Some people like using gel pens. I just like using this, but um. I'm going to use one of my bigger brushes for it. Just take a paint brush. I almost said toothbrush. Oh my god. Okay. I don't I think the Copic Opaque white and this is the same like whenever I watch videos of it, I don't think there's any difference. I've never noticed any. Okay, that's my first one. Oh my god. Um I'm just that right here. Hoping that's not gonna pop. Okay. Next is that the pupil has color. So that means you don't have need your black. So I'm gonna take my B39, which is the darkest, darkest color. And I'm using the same colors as I did for the first eye, so just so that you guys 
can see the difference in all of these. Alright, that's my B39. Now I'm going to show you two ways to do this type. Um, so I'll show you the first way is you take that pupil and you take your B29 and try and flick it across the middle. And it's best to do this type with similar colors that can actually blend well. You can see B29 and B39 are blending very well. But that's, that's why I don't like this type. But if you guys still want to do it, you guys can. This is BG09. Oh, wait, whoops, that's B39. My bad. No wonder it looked like they were very similar. Um, I'm blending and blending. BG15. And BG23. In my opinion, I don't like this type. So, a different way I like to do it is you take your B39, you color in the pupil, and we already did that. And just like the black, we take it up here and flick it down. So it's basically the same way as the top one, except instead of using the black as the pupil, you're using your darkest, darkest color. Um, I'm not even going to bother finishing it up and touch, but if you are going to actually do it, then you obviously want to add some more stuff, make it look better. But for now, I'm just going to, I want to hurry up with this tutorial. Okay. Oh, whoa. This was too big of too, um, paintbrush. Whatever. Okay, this is the last one. This is the new no pupil only gradients. This one you do not need your black for it, but if you want to, I guess you can do it. But I'm going to start with my B39 again. You are, I always start with my darkest color. And depending on how many colors you have, depends on how much you color the top but you want to kind of make it a moon shape when you color it that gives it a much more um, natural look because obviously your eyelash your eyelid or something up here is obviously not straight it's also curving so you want to sh follow that curving sh line and do it for your color if you guys get what I mean now I'm going with my B29, going it right next to them. Even coloring the B39 as well. Can't you guys can't really see that, huh? Whoopsies, dropping paintbrush. Alright. Okay. Taking my next darkest color which is BG09 BG15 and also this one you really want really similar colors see this is not blending at all so but this won't happen to your eye if you're using colors that are similar. I am choosing very oddball, not even close to each other colors. This is the last BG10, BG23. Now, if you don't think this is very much blended, which it isn't, then you go over your colors again. Like, I'm doing, I'm going over with my B39. I'm going over with my B29. I'm 
going over with my BG09. Going over with my BG15. And then going over with my B23 again. Going up and down. Alright. So, I know, uh, here's the black one, colored one. This one looks very crappy right now. But the only reason that happened is because I used colors that aren't even near each other. So that's why it looks like that. But, um... Either way, all right. Um, before I go on this tutorial, I have a second thing about coloring eyes. Um, here is cool gray 1 or cool gray 3. If you have an eye that has some little space in there, it's good to add some grays there. Just to add a little volume and dimension to your eye. Um, I'm digging cool gray 3 right now. And I'm putting just where the eyelashes are. Just on the edges of the eye. Don't put it all, like, all over the whites of the eyes because that's unnatural. You just want it on the edges. Now I'm taking cool grade 3. I think I got a, a little too dark there but that's okay. Now I'm taking my colorless blender and going over them. See that really adds the dimension to the um, eyeball. I do that with all my drawings. Uh, so that's the end of my tutorial and I hope you guys liked it. Remember to subscribe because as I mentioned in my previous videos, I will be having a giveaway on an art contest if I reach 30 to, 20, uh, 30 to 50 uh, subscribers. So help me on that. And thank you guys for watching. And please subscribe.